Hi, I'm Minda Tracy from my online training hub. In this video, we're going to have a bit of fun and look at how we can build these charts with the emoticons for the variances. And I call these the emoticon roller coaster chart because the emoticons go up and down. If you'd like to download the workbook and follow along, click on the link and head over to the blog where you can download the workbook and find some other tips and tricks for this tutorial. Now, the technique for Excel 2007 and 2010 is slightly different to that of Excel 2013. We'll take a look at Excel 2010 first and then I'll show you Excel 2013. So I'll just minimize this. Here we are in Excel 2010. Okay, now this applies to Excel 2007 as well. So first of all, this is my source data for the chart. I'm just going to choose the period, actual and the budget first and we'll insert a column chart, just a 2D column chart. Now I want to change the chart type for the budget to a line chart. Okay, now I'm going to double click to edit that. Now in Excel 2007, you need to right click and format, choose format data series. But in Excel 2010, you can just double click on any of the elements to open the editor. Okay, so I actually don't want any line displaying. I just want a marker for this. I'm going to use the built-in marker and I'll change the size to 13. Now I also want to change my marker color. Now this comes in two parts. There's a line around the marker so I need to change that first and then there's the marker fill. So I'll change that next. You can actually do this in, in any order just so long as you change both of them. Okay so there I have my actual columns. I'm going to make them a slightly different lighter color blue just so that my markers for my budget are clearer or easier to see. I'll get rid of my grid lines, just select them and press delete. I want to format my uh, legend at the bottom. Okay so we've charted our actual and our budget. Now I want to make a few more changes so that I can incorporate the variance for this chart. So the first thing I want to do is select my data and I want to make my axis labels that you can see down here. I want to add a bit more information to them. So I'm going to select the actual series and then edit the axis labels by selecting these three columns here. So I'm going to get the year, you can see it here already, the year and then the variance as a percentage and then the quarters. So it kind of hijacked the axis labels and incorporated this variance figure as well. All right, and just to be consistent, I'm going to do the same oops, for my budget series. I'll edit my axis labels. OK. And OK. So now we need to add in our emoticons. Now you'll see I've got a max value here. And all that is is the maximum of the actual and the budget. And the reason I've got that is because I want these emoticons to sit above the highest point in the chart. So on this column, it will be above the actual, but on these ones, it'll be above the budget. So the max value will help me do that. I've then split my emoticons into two columns, one for happy and one for sad. So I'll add my max series to the chart. Just copy it, including the header, select the, the chart and press Control V to paste it in. So let's put it in as a line chart series with just the markers set. So what I want to do is edit that chart type and I'm going to make it the XY scatter chart. And I have David Hofmeister to thank for reminding me about this technique. So I'll click OK. Now you can see it's all gone a bit doolally, but that's OK. I'm going to fix it. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my data. So here's my new series. It's an XY scatter chart. So in the series name, I actually want to pick up this field here because I'm going to hijack my legend and include my variance name in there because it's just an easy way to annotate what that those values represent. Now my X values is where I'm going to put my happy faces. So I'm just going to delete that and select this series here. And you can see now not much has changed in the chart, but we can see the series here, J and J. And a J is a happy face when you format the font to Wingdings, which we'll do in a little while. So I'll click OK. I want to add another series for my sad faces. So again, I'm going to select that as my 
series name. We won't actually see this series name in the chart. I'll get rid of that later. So my X values are the sad faces and my Y values are these max values again. So I click OK and click OK. Right, now what we need to do is add labels to these two max series that we've just inserted. So up on layout, data labels, and I'm going to choose above. Let's format those. Now I'm just going to bring the chart across here so that when I open the format box, we can see it easier. So in the label options, I want the X value to display, not the Y value. And you can see that it's just displaying the J's and I want it to be above, so that's fine. The next thing I want to do is, I'll, while I'm here, I'll get rid of these markers. So I don't want any marker for that series. And I'll click Close. So we've still got our other series to deal with. While I'm here, I'll just get rid of these markers as well. Okay, so now I've got all that markers gone, what I need to do is add in the other series labels. So let's select it. And we'll go up to Data Labels, Above. Okay, now we need to edit those. So they're showing the X value as well. And we want it above, so that's fine. Okay, let's delete this horizontal axis for my XY scatter because I don't actually need it. And now you can see my labels are centered correctly. So all we need to do now is format them. So as I said, when you format these in the Wingdings font, they show a happy face and a sad face. So I'll make that a little bit bigger. And I can also color that in red. It's sad, so it's bad news. We'll color this in green and we'll choose Wingdings. It's in my recently used fonts now and change the size. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is hide this secondary vertical axis. And we can either do that by hiding it, formatting it to show as none. So we can click none and then none and then go into the line color and also select none. But the other thing we can do is set this series to appear on the primary axis because it actually doesn't need to be on the secondary axis. And then we'll have to do the same for the happy faces. Okay, so either way will work, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's the emoticon roller coaster chart in Excel 2010, which will also work in Excel 2007. You can also do this in Excel 2013 in, with this method, but I'll show you another one just out of interest. The last thing I just noticed is I need to delete this second variance in the uh, legend area. All right, let's pop over to Excel 2013 and take a look at how it's done there. All right, I'll go to my practice page. So again, insert the chart as per Excel 2010 change the chart type to a line chart click ok go about the formatting we don't want any line we just want a marker and we'll choose from the built-in ones 13 change the fill it gets a bit repetitive and the border okay Let's select our data, edit our axis to include the other elements, and we'll do the same for consistency for the budget figures as well. Okay, now delete the grid lines. All right, so again, we copy the max values and we paste them into the chart. Now, the reason I do it this way as opposed to selecting a non contiguous series initially is because I want this max legend label to appear on the end and I've just found if I select all the columns from the outset it ends up in the middle so it's a bit annoying. Okay so we've pasted one max in I'm going to paste it twice I need to use it once for the happy faces and once for the sad faces. Now in Excel 2013 there's a really nice feature with the labels that makes it really easy so I'm going to turn on my data labels and then I'm just going to go to more under label options, we can choose from value from cells. So I'm going to turn those off and choose value from cells. When it does that, it'll ask me what range do I want to use. So I'll select the cells 
down to 12 actually no I've gone too far wrong range so down to 12 okay now I just want to format where these appear so I want them to be above so I'm going to turn on the data labels for the next max series and there it is there I'm just using my arrow keys to choose it because they're in exactly the same place so it's difficult to tell but I can tell which is which because one has data labels on so when I arrow up it's on arrow down I've selected the next series and the data labels aren't on that series yet so tick that go to more options in here I want to turn that off and choose value from cells select my range click OK now I just need to position them above alright so our labels are in now we just need to get rid of this marker so no marker and the same for the next one no marker okay now let's format the font wingdings at the very bottom and I'll make it 14. These are sad faces so they can be red. And then rinse and repeat for the happy faces and make them green. Okay, so you can see the process in Excel 2013 is slightly different. We didn't have to mess about with the scatter chart. We can simply add our max series twice and choose what type of label we want and by choosing value from cells we can insert these happy faces and sad faces. Now the next thing I want to do is just fix my legend. So I delete the one I don't need and then I'll change the name of this one so that it's not picking up Max, it's picking up this. Okay, so there you go. The Emoticon rollercoaster chart in Excel 2007-2010 uses the XY scatter chart and in Excel 2013, we can use the new feature, Value From Cells. Thanks for watching.